hello and welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thank you all so much for watching thank you thank you thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well thank you so very much i appreciate you all and welcome 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 this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only so everything is alleged some is not and the fair act use is in my description box y'all so let's get to it y'all let's get to it um had to get some rest y'all i had to get some rest i was like burnt out y'all but it, it you know i woke up with the you know a lot on my mind thinking about the comparisons of these cases and how it's a pattern. It's a pattern over and over and over again. And I want y'all to pay attention to, you know, certain bloggers are popping out now. And they got a whole nother, you know, um, narrative that they are pushing now. Um, I am hearing all kind of stuff, y'all. Daddy Oreo, they calling his name out saying that he had something to do with it because he could have lined it up. And um, they're blaming him. They're, pl they're blaming, um, what's his name? key glock they blaming him too he been busy working his butt off y'all he is not even in the country right now they're saying that he is out the country and doing a movie or something like that key glock y'all he out he out here making moves for himself okay y'all ain't probably thinking about these people staying out of their way but now they want to put it on them and they're trying their best to steer the narrative to pre y'all i don't i I'm, i, I kid y'all not it makes no sense how they're trying to push it on him on them and i'm like wow now they're saying that oh key glock better watch yourself because they want to come after him and they want to come after daddy oreo i guess they got they big guy so now they want they big guy i don't know y'all it's tripped out to me but you know all all the signs lead toward inside job their own people now word on the street is they're greedy word on the street is Yo, God in them is greedy, y'all. And they're all about themselves. And they're saying that Big Juke was the same way, y'all. When when Dolph first got taken out, they was people was eating because they all played a part. A lot of people played a part. But they're saying now that they're not feeding the streets like they used to. And this is why a lot of people was turning on them. Okay, y'all? But I want y'all to look at the similarities of something that I noticed, y'all. Remember when I told y'all the other day? That, um, you know, I was like, he had to be getting threats. I was like, Big Juke had to be getting threats. For them to be putting out certain messages, they had to be getting threats. And it made me think about this. I woke up this morning and I was thinking about Mo3, y'all. I was thinking about Mo3 when it came down to this whole situation with Big Juke. Something tells me that this is the same situation. So I had to go back. I had to go back in my archive and pull up some stuff because, you know, it's something that's really, really sticking to me right now is the fact that they were talking about it, somebody snaking them. They were talking about somebody snaking them. And this is the same thing that was going on with Mo3. Y'all remember that? It's, it's weird because he was putting up stuff the day before and they were putting up stuff the day before with Mo3. Remember that, y'all? Do y'all remember when um Young Jeff put up November the 10th, because Mo3 passed away the next day, Um, get right with God? Y'all remember that they was putting up all of this, get right with God, and you better hurry up and do it fast? Did y'all remember that he was posting that up? And after they took Mo3 out, you know, they was putting up Happy Snake Day and all of that stuff. So it made me think about, y'all, it made me think about everything that's going on right now with um big juke he was posting stuff about somebody just think about this for a second y'all the day before that he's about to be taken out big juke he receiving threats better get right with god just think about it put it just 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 for a second Put everything in perspective of what they were saying to Mo3 to what's going on now with him. 
you better get right with God and you better do it fast. Happy snake day. That snake day is coming. Okay, y'all? Um, Is this why? I'm just saying, y'all. Big Jook and his security. Because they both have to been getting threats at the same time. And I, we're going to go over a few things. I want to go over some stuff with y'all. Because I just want to run something by y'all to see what y'all think about this. He was talking about snake stuff as well. The bodyguard. Okay. He said, you can be minding your business, stand out the way, and still seem to be to get bit by a snake. Bad things happen to good people. As long as you can do as you don't go out, say it. This is what he said, y'all. And then we have Big Jook talking about they don't want to face you. They want to snake you. Both of them was talking about being snaked. Okay, y'all? Stay alert to stay alive. Watch your back at all times. Put snakes on the plate and eat great. Now, I want y'all to think about this whole snake stuff. Now, And, and I want y'all to think about how the narratives is changing. Other people is coming into the mix. Okay, y'all? Um, bloggers are getting, you know, um, threatened right now. I want y'all to think about this. Um, word on the street is, and this is what I heard, y'all. Okay? This is what I heard. Now, I don't know for sure, but this is what I heard. Somebody told me this. They said that Patty Seti over there got threatened because he put out the fact that that car, that white that white car, the SUV, was in another accident a week before. He put that out, and they said that the he said that the person that was in that car was a bowleg or somebody like that, the security guard of Glorilla or something like that. Okay, y'all. And they're saying that the family came over there and threatened him and told him he better take it down. Y'all, make it make sense as to why the family, you should be, you know, um, mourning or whatever, but you are on the blogs and you are threatening people to take stuff down. Why is it? I'm just saying, y'all. Do that seem kind of odd to y'all? That somebody would be threatening a blogger that you better take this down. He passed away of, what they say, a blood clot or something like that. He did not pass away from, you know, it getting hit up. But the thing of it is, y'all, who's telling the truth? Is this really the family? Is You know, I got so many questions. Is they trying to hide something? Like, seriously, y'all, there is a truly big cover-up taking place right now, y'all. And I want y'all to pay attention to this. And I'm going to tell y'all this, this cover-up has to do with some higher-ups. It goes over your Gotti now. It goes over into the authorities because I'm going to tell y'all this, why in the world is so many things getting looked over and they're acting as if it didn't happen or whatever, whatever, whatever. Now, there are rumors going around YouTube that Big Jook got, you know, somebody's tried to hit at him a week prior. Somebody shot at him, y'all. A week prior. And I'm hearing some things, y'all. I'm going to just be completely honest with you. I'm hearing that Big Jook was in that car. Yes, y'all. The white Tesla that people been talking about. This Tesla that um got followed by the, the white Jeep, the SUV. And somebody got hit up in the white Tesla. And they're saying that this person that got hit up in the white Tesla, y'all. I don't know if... You know, they're trying to do damage control or they're just trying to get people to be quiet so that they can do that, do an investigation. I don't know. But whilst the story's changing so much, then they said at the repast that there were three people, y'all. Three people that got hit up. And I think that it really was three people. I think that they're starting to lie to us in the media and everything. And I also feel like they got bloggers on here to lie and change the narratives too right now. Because I'm noticing a lot of bloggers is popping up and they're saying some other stuff. And it looks as if they're trying to do damage control, to be honest. Okay, y'all? And why else would they be doing that in lesson? There's a lot on the table, y'all. Okay, not just Yogati trying to quiet stuff down so that he don't get in trouble. Because I'm noticing now, everybody already, before they could even get to the court in March, <laughs> the bloggers are saying that it was all Big Juke's fault. 
your Gotti had nothing to do with this. And I'm noticing that they are playing, um, you know, what's the guy named the, the um uh, with the short arm? Short arm superhero. Okay, y'all. He was um they're playing him over and over again, saying that, you know, your Gotti ain't got nothing to do with this, y'all. But your Gotti got everything to do with this, y'all. Yo Gotti in in Dolph was the one that was beefing. They were the ones that was beefing. They, yeah. Did Big Chip, you know, take over the beef and it took it to another level? Yeah. But it still stemmed from Yo Gotti. But now they are trying to clear his name. Even the bloggers are trying to clear his name. And I'm like, really, y'all? Are you serious? And at the same time, the bloggers are trying to clear their name. Um, CMG is unraveling as we speak, y'all, because word on the street is now some of the CMG members, you know, artists, they are trying to leave the label, y'all. <laughs> they are trying to leave, okay? They don't want to be bothered with this mess. They want to be able to make their money and go about their business, but they sign with a label that's all entwined with this bull crap, and they ain't trying to be in a part of this now. But the thing of it is, y'all, as long as nobody was coming at them, they were fine with the fact that it was rumors going around that they were the ones that was responsible for Young Dolph. They were fine with that. But now that they are getting hit heavy, now people want to back up out of the, they don't want to be with this record label anymore. I want y'all to pay attention to this stuff that's going on, okay? And I want y'all to pay attention to the fact that I did the numbers the other day and Drain the Swamp came up. Remember I was telling y'all Drain the Swamp came up? And there were going to be a, um, a cleansing of the parasites. Remember I said that? Y'all, I was doing some numbers today. And when I put a parasite in, y'all, lo and behold, why did Key Glock come up when a parasite came up? Key Glock name came right up. And I was like, wait a minute. Wait a minute, y'all. A lot of people had doubts about who all played a part when Dolph was taken out. A lot of people felt like it was people on the inside that played a part as well as people on the outside. And now they're saying the same thing that's going on with um, the Big Juke situation. They're saying that there are people on the inside that played a part, but there are also people on the other side that played a part. They're saying, you know, there are rumors going around. I'm going to tell y'all there are rumors. I'm going to say allegedly. But they are saying, y'all, that there, were pe there are people that were on you know, um, CMG and them side, that they're not eating like they was before. And now that they, they just don't care about the whole situation with being on Yo Gotti's and them side. Because, see, Yo Gotti didn't left Memphis. And his brother is still left there to, you know, handle business and stuff like that. But they're greedy. And, you know, his mom and them, they tell you that they've been in, you know, the street pharmacy game for a long time. And word on the street is they're still into the street pharmacy game. Okay, y'all? So they're saying that this, it, it makes sense, y'all. Dolph was making so much money down there off of street pharmacy stuff. Okay? Not the hard stuff, but just, just the, 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 the trees. Okay, y'all? And word on the street is this is what this was really about. Y'all remember when Dolph first passed and I said this to my day ones, twos, and threes. I was like, y'all are going to know who all is involved in this mess when, um, Somebody try to take his place, trying to, you know, fill in where, everywhere that he was swerving at and, and had sold up. Somebody else is going to try to take those positions and take that place. And I said, whoever is the first person that comes down there to try to call themselves going to take over where Dolph left off at, um, be wary of that person. And y'all remember who it was, don't y'all? It was Boosie. Y'all remember Boosie said that he was coming to Memphis. He was going to start a CMG record label. Y'all remember it. Okay, y'all. He was testing the waters just to see how people felt about it first. Okay. He called himself was going to, you know, fill in Dolph's face. And I was like, wow. And word on the street is, y'all remember when he went to that, that funeral and he was crying like a baby when trouble passed. Now trouble name is coming up. They're saying that he is, had, you know, there's some connections between his passing with all of this stuff too, with Dolph stuff, word on the street. This is what they're saying. And it makes sense because soon as, um, you know, when the other side gets hit up, everybody is cool with it. But now that, you know, I'm just saying y'all big juke thing got hit up, 
somebody asked Boosie his opinion on things and he didn't want to talk about it, (laughs) y'all. He didn't have anything to say. He didn't want to even mention anything about the situation. Okay, y'all? Um, this goes to show you who all be working together with who in the first place. Y'all forget, don't, don't forget that he was at that meeting with Ma Ties right before Mo 3 got taken out too. Okay, y'all? And I want y'all to pay attention to the fact that Drain the Swamp popped up when I did they numbers. With this whole big juke stuff. And if you look at this, what it says, it says rotate, roten, rooting. I say a rotin, <laughs> or rooting out the practice of corruption. Preventing, preventing to uprooting something that is harmful. Okay, y'all? So it's basically saying political corruption within a government. Okay? Or, you know, pretty much city officials, stuff like that. Makes you think about the same thing that was going on with Mo3 that's going on right now. Do y'all remember this? We're gonna go down a little bit memory lane for a second, y'all. This is the commissioner, Dallas, y'all. He's tied to so much stuff, y'all. So much stuff, okay? But the main thing that he's tied to is Mo3's hitters, allegedly, okay, y'all? And everybody was wondering, how can you take somebody out on the expressway, y'all? Got them running up and down the expressway. With other cars and everything out there, not caring who, where a shell go. And you get away with it. The people that's locked up right now are the fall guys. And they not even get charged for him. They're charged for something else they did. But even if they are charged for Mo3, they are the fall guys. This is what we're hearing. But the people that really played a part, like this one right here, that's all smiles that was on the expressway, dropping people off and picking them back up, um, and singing Cardi B song while he was out there. Okay, y'all? Um, he's tied to the church. He's tied to police officers. He's tied to the commissioner. It's the same thing that's going on with Dolph. Mo3 was getting harassed by the police. Dolph was getting harassed by the police. Trap Boy Nim is connected to the police. And Yo Gotti and Black Youngster Nim was connected to the police. Like, it's the same situation, y'all. Okay? The day before, they putting up messages letting people know, pretty much, that they were getting threats in some type of way. Because they are saying that they are talking about the people that want to snake them. Okay, y'all? Happy snake day. Then you would post something about a snake. I eat snakes. And I put a snake on my plate and it's great. You know what I'm saying? It just seemed like he got a message saying happy snake day. It's about to go down. And not only is it about to go down with you. They were sending happy snake day probably to the little man too. Okay, the security guy, little Kevin Hart security. Okay, y'all. I want y'all to pay attention to this. This would make him and Big Jug put up a message talking about some snake. If they were saying sending him messages saying happy snake day. It makes sense now. Everything is coming together now, y'all. Everything seems like it's just coming together like a puzzle now. Okay, do y'all remember this police officer that showed up every time, you know, something was going on with the other side? She would show up, y'all. And I was like, you know, how can we not know, due to the fact that she's with the ops, that she wouldn't show up to a situation and mess up any evidence or whatever, whatever, whatever. Especially in she rolled with trap now. Remember I said this? Um, Look what's going on with Dolph Case. It's a lot of stuff going on with Dolph. Look at her, y'all. The same people that was posting Happy Snake Day, Get Right With God, they're on a picture with a police officer, y'all. A police officer. And these are her pretty much stepchildren because she was dating their father, who is over the church, y'all. Okay? And not only... Where they posting all of this happy snake day and touchdown and all of that stuff. This little one over here to the left 
he got on social media and got wasted and went live and said this out his own mouth, y'all. He said, because his daddy not only is, you know, over the church, but he has investment into a funeral home now, y'all, as well as a retired police officer. They all went into business together, okay? He said not only do he, they'll take people out, but after he take people out, he said that his daddy will do the service for him. <laughs> y'all, I get y'all not. This is just remind you of the guy that was telling everybody all this time that um he took out Tupac and nobody would listen. This guy got wasted and started telling on his own self and everybody still ignored it. The police act like they didn't hear it. Um, How do you do this over and over and over again and get away with stuff? How, y'all? How? They reached out to me and said, I don't even deal with this family outside of church. And then I was like, wait a minute, you don't deal with this family outside of church? Well, let me put up some old pictures. And I put up pictures of her at a birthday party. Her and the daughter is best friends, y'all. Best friends. So you think for one minute that um somebody that's a stepmother of some kids that's out here doing dirt won't help cover their stuff up? Won't help, you know, I'm just saying, y'all, help line people up, okay, y'all, so that they can get away with it and, and tamper with evidence. I don't understand in this day and age how the stuff is going on that's going on, to be honest with y'all. This is... And Robert Gomez, y'all, the one right there in the picture, this one he got towed up. And he said his daddy would do the service after they take people out. They the one was telling Mo3 to get right with God, and you better hurry up and do it fast. And after he was taken out, every, him and his brother, all of them saying, touchdown, happy snake day, snakes, 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 snakes. Okay, y'all? Um, Ring a bell? Ring a bell, y'all. This is the guy over the church hanging out with an ex-police officer who has all invested in funeral homes, y'all. That's where the money at. All of these kids getting taken out, that's investing in a funeral home. Never mind their children are the ones that's out here lining people up, allegedly, y'all. And he's over a church. This is, remember I did the video on him and I said, you know, God gonna clean his own house up first. And he was running around telling all of these rappers and these thugs that, you know, thug thizzles, that if they, you know, pay their tithes, you know, they'll be forgiven. Ring a bell? Ring a bell, y'all. Now let's get into this Caroline Mason. Okay, y'all? Because Caroline Mason, she popped up, y'all. Okay? We got to revisit this. Because she popped up out like, like a weed out of, the, you know, some bushes. Out of the dirt. And she was like popping up on the news. When that somebody, a little altercation took place or a little shootout took place at Preve or whatever it is. Um, Yo Gotti's Mama restaurant. She made sure that she showed her face so she could intimidate people like, we're going to catch y'all, the people who did this. I want y'all to pay attention how fast she jumped on here to protect Yo Gotti's mama's restaurant, y'all. And I want y'all to think about something for a minute because she jumped on here to protect the restaurant because she thought it was a threat. She thought that there were a threat against Yogati's Nemonade, the establishment. So she jumped on social media, didn't say nothing, but she was standing there just letting everybody know. Because I heard she was in retirement. And then all of a sudden you back when somebody messed with Yogati now? But I want y'all to pay attention to now that Big Jook gets taken out and you ain't seen her face. 
See, this is why they mess us up because they don't keep the same pattern or the same vibe as they have when they feel like they're being threatened or as it's being an inside job. Because this made me think that does she know it's an inside job? That's why she ain't pop out. She don't feel like it's a threat because they did it to their own person. Is that why we haven't heard from her now? She ain't in the news reports now? But you was in there when you thought it was a threat. But now that somebody actually on that side has been taken out, you ain't popped out? To, let you know, intimidate people? You, won't, uh, you don't have to intimidate somebody if somebody already on y'all own side did it. See, people be thinking some people is so smart and they this and that and that and this, but at the same time, why didn't she get... If she would have popped out in another news conference after this would have took place, then everybody would have been like, okay, they done pulled out the top dog again. So she can defend your guardian now. But she ain't popped out, y'all. Ask yourself why, okay? Is it because they are not a threat right now? Think about it. And when I was looking at her picture, it made me want to go back to something. And, and I have to send a shout out to Onan TV. Okay, y'all? Send a shout out to Onan because he been over there doing his thing. Okay, y'all? Um, He's playing the police, you know, recordings and all kind of stuff. You know, when they call the police and all of that stuff. He got all this stuff over there, y'all. So I've been listening to a lot of the stuff that's been going on with the the um the case. And it trips me out because the fact that the family would threaten, you know, Petty Steady over there and say, oh, he passed away from a blood clot, blah, 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 blah. But at the same time, you cannot say that this is not connected because why in the world did they pull Big Jook phone records from the 5th? And the 5th is when we saw that car. Okay, y'all? When we saw that car that's supposed to have been the SUV that was the same one that, you know, the people that was in it took out Big Chuck. Why would they pull his records, his phone records, y'all, Big Chuck, from the 5th, instead of pulling his phone records from the day he passed to see if it was something up, or the day before when he was putting up posts saying somebody was pretty much threatening him, pretty much. They pull his phone records from the 5th because I do believe that it's true what everybody was saying. That he was in that car. This is what I heard. They're saying that Big Juke was in that Tesla, y'all. And it's two things. It's two things that make sense right now, okay, that happened on that 5th. And I'm going to tell y'all this right now. There's only two things that make sense. One thing that makes sense is somebody came for um, Glorilla's bow-leg, bow-legged um, security. Somebody came for him. Big Jook was with him. They hit him. They didn't hit Big Jook. Big Jook got out the car and left him there because they're saying that somebody in the Uber or somebody found him. Okay, this is what I'm hearing. Somebody in the Uber is the one that called it in that, you know, somebody was taken out or something like that. Okay, y'all? And they pulled the records, and this is how they got the SUV. Da, 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 da. Okay? But somebody called in about 10 o'clock or 10 something from the records that, you know, Onan is playing over there. Somebody called in about a hidden that took place with that white. Ford Explorer um, SUV at 10 something. But I do believe that the recording is saying nine something. That it was parked or pulled up there or whatever, or whatever happened. Okay, y'all. We know something happened because why would they pull Big Jook records? And they're saying that some of the calls have been deleted. I don't know if that's true or not. I don't know if you can delete calls off of somebody's phone record i guess you possibly could if you were corrupt but word on the street is there's calls that's missing a call that was missing on his phone records and i'm like that don't make no sense like unless and that everybody is totally covering this stuff up now another thing that made me think about something too is and i'm gonna say this 
due to the fact that a lot of people feel like they are, you know, tightening up them loose ends before the court date. It made me think about something else. Okay, y'all, this just came across my mind, too, because I was like, it's either he was in that car because somebody told me that he was in the car. Somebody said and sent, sent it to me. Okay, y'all, I wasn't there, so I'm just giving y'all the relay. But they said that Juke was in that car when somebody got hit up a week before he got, you know, taken out. And I'm saying this because, remember, there were rumors saying that Big Juke got shot at, y'all? Now, I don't know how somebody can miss Big Juke. I'm just saying, y'all. If he was in the same car with the other security guy, because both of them are big. But maybe he was bigger than him, so maybe he covered him, and he took all the shells, and he didn't. But why is the family going at bloggers now? It don't make no sense. It makes no sense that the bloggers is going at I mean, the family is going at bloggers, if they are really the family. I'm just saying, y'all, something weird about this whole situation. And they're tight-lipped. When you ask the family anything, they're tight-lipped. But you got the nerves to come at a blogger? As if they're doing damage control, y'all. Now, another thing that crossed my mind, the second thing that crossed my mind, is if one of the security guards did get taken out and they were in a car, with Big Juke. The second thing that came across my mind was Big did Big Juke was he riding around in a car with somebody in a Tesla? And did he put that person down? And they said there was a white SUV following that car. So how are we not to know that he didn't get in that car that was following after the job was done? Because there's some snaking going on. Remember in the numbers, it said snaking, uh, snakes, snaking the snakes. Remember it said that? So there's a lot of snaking going on in CMG's inner circle, y'all, for snaking the snakes to pop up. Okay, it ain't just one person being snaked. That person snaked somebody and then that person is getting snaked. Okay, y'all, ring a bell. Now, it makes sense that possibility that the person that got hit up in that car got hit up by somebody that was in the car with them. So if it's true, I don't know, I wasn't there, but if it's true that the other security guard was taken out, I'm just saying, could Big Juke have taken out that other security guard, heard something, and eliminated him, and then somebody turned around and started threatening Big Juke and eliminated him after he eliminated the other guy. I'm just saying, y'all, because it says snake, snake, and the snakes. It would make sense after he didn't took out the other security guard himself because they're snaking each other out right now. And he would be able to get up close and personal with this other security guy to take him out. And he not see it coming. That was coming up in the numbers. They ain't seen it. They, they won't see it coming. So did he take out one of the other security guards? And then afterwards, he started getting threats from their own inner circle, saying, you next to get snaked. And he said, you know, he put snakes on his plate, and then he eat them. Is this why he was saying that he was being snaked too? Because it was his own people. And this also makes sense as to the security guard getting the same threats. Getting the same threats that you're going to get snaked too. Happy snake day. And he always good people. Always the one that blah, 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 blah. How's you good and you hanging out with your God and them people? <laughs> I'm just saying, y'all. How is you good? Think about it. This is starting to look eerily similar to Mo3 stuff, y'all. On so many levels, it is. And it's weird. You know, I don't, I have, I've been trying my best, and y'all let me know in the comments section, but I have been trying my best to find out why they, first of all, they said it was three people that got hit up. Second of all, why in the world did they say that it was some uh, situation of somebody had something happen to somebody in the back of the repast restaurant and he got hit up in the front. And it made me sit back and think, like, 
why was police's cars in the back, back there, acting as if they putting the yellow tape up, but somebody got hit back there too? Which made me think, is that the third person that got hit up in the back of the restaurant, of the repast place? Because they had that blocked off too, and they had the front blocked off. As if somebody got hit up in the front and somebody got hit up in the back. But they said that little man was with him. So did the third person get hit up in the back? And it makes sense because if you got celebrities and their, you know, family members at a repast and you got all of this stuff going on and your body gone, you would have somebody in the back securing a place and you would, you know, have the, you got to cover the front if you, if Big Juke about to come out. Okay. So, Big Juke come out with his, look, look, Kevin Hart. Okay, y'all? He come out with Kevin Hart in the front. And somebody is at the back making sure that they got that, whoever that's supposed to be security guard about watching the back. Nobody's talking about the person in the back. They act as if they erased the third person that got taken out. Because they said it was two people passed away. And now they're saying a security guy survived. Little man, he survived. And they're saying that Big Juke is the only one that passed. But at first, they were saying three people got hit up. Two people passed away, and one person was sent to the hospital. Why does the story keep changing, y'all? Ask yourself this question. Why does the story keep changing? Why did they say that Glorilla's security guard was taken out last week and then now they're saying that oh he passed away you know from a blood clot really really y'all what is really going on with this whole situation and why didn't they have it plastered all over the news that that car the white suv Ford Explorer was in a situation on the 5th. Why didn't they have that all over the news so people could be on the lookout for it? And when Onan posted the audio of the police phone calls coming in, y'all, they nobody took it serious. When they were reporting a whole bunch of stuff going on with this white SUV, was doing crime after crime after crime. One spot they were saying this white SUV Explorer was... um pulling out weapons in people's face and shaking guns in people's face. They didn't take it serious. They didn't send out no kind of warning to, oh, we got a white SUV, it's dangerous, blah, blah, blah. We ain't hear nothing. They was all nonchalant. Like, they didn't even care. They wasn't even pushing the issue for the police to, to go looking for this car. I was like, what the heck is going on with this audio? It was like they were, it was the calls was coming in, but they were ignoring it, y'all. That they were letting whoever was in this white SUV do whatever it is that they wanted to do. Now, either they were their boys, just like probably the commissioner let Trapper and them do whatever they want to do. Or it was a police officer that was riding around doing whatever they want to do. It was one or the other, y'all. But either way it go, it seems as if police officers were ignoring those calls. No kind of SOS, go after this car, blah, blah, blah. None of that. The call come in, uh, the same thing with the SUV. That somebody was taken out. No kind of importance whatsoever, y'all. As if they knew what this car was doing. And whoever was in it, and it, whoever... that. They didn't care, y'all. I was listening to those audio tapes and I was like, this is kind of weird to me. And it just made me just start looking through stuff and looking through stuff. And when I started looking through stuff, I ran across this picture of, you know, uh, Carolyn Mason from the first 48. And I ran across this picture of this guy right here to Darius Mason. And I was like, they look alike. They look, she, this guy looked like he could be her son. 
And this is who they say was the one that was pretending like he was pulling the trigger because Dolph was already hit up from the inside. Now, he might have let some loose, too, so they could have some, you know, evidence that they hit him, too. But he was already taken out from the inside, y'all. He was already attacked, allegedly, from the inside. Now, y'all tell me if I'm tripping or not, but I know this picture a little blurry, but don't they look alike to y'all? Face, nose, mouth, jaws, head, everything. They look like family members. If that ain't her son, is that her brother? Is that the cousin or somebody? Is this why everything is getting brushed under the rug on what happened? I know they didn't like Dolph, but good God. Look at the jaws and everything, y'all. I started putting these pictures together and I was like, this is weird. They got the same last name too, y'all. They have the same last names. And a lot of people was kind of confused as if she was some kin to Yogati or is she some kin to Dolph's baby mama? Because some people are saying she's some kin to um, Dolph's baby mama, but I don't think she's no kin to Dolph's baby mama. I think that she's some kin to Yogati them because either that or they got her on the payroll. Okay, y'all, I'm just going to just put it out there. Because why do you pop up for certain things and you don't pop up for everything? Okay, y'all? Other people being taken out is more important than the other. Or somebody coming at you thinking that's a threat. You pop out. But somebody actually get taken out this time, Big Jook. And we ain't heard a peep out of her. She ain't came on a news conference or nothing. You're not even getting no updates now, y'all. Only thing that's taking place right now is cover up, cover up, cover up. We wouldn't have never known about the police cars coming up missing. At the lot. If it wasn't from somebody on the inside telling, you know, the public that the police cars is coming up missing. And the same type of police car that came up missing is the same ones that has been in a crime that took place on the 5th and a crime that took place on the 13th. So something don't seem right, y'all. Something does not seem right whatsoever. And y'all let me know if I'm tripping or not. But do they look alike to y'all? Do they look alike to y'all? Do she look like him? And he look like her? I mean, the, the face is shaped the same and everything, y'all. And right on the street is this guy played a part and then he turned around and came back to the scene. Because they're saying this is who this is right here standing next to Marcus at the cookie shop. This And, and it looked like the same pants, to be honest. Same baggy pants. Look at the bag. Look like he done pooped on himself in the back, y'all. Look at this. Do you see this? Thing? Even on this picture right here, he looked like he done pooped on himself. He got a pamp on and it's saggy. That's what it looks like. Saggy pamper, saggy pamper, saggy pamper, y'all. Did he leave the scene and come back? And is he some kin to her? They the same complexion and everything. Only reason he look a little light right here, probably the sun's shining on it. But he looks just like the person right here, y'all. That was right here with this the gas that's locked up right now don't look like this guy right here with the poopy pants. And on top of the poopy pants, he has his feet up, y'all. He has his feet up and lifting his feet up just like he lifts his feet all the time in other pictures. Make it make sense. Now, this one right here is fighting to keep her job. And if I'm not mistaken, this is the same one that called herself went in some plot place and somebody broke into her car and stole her weapon. And the question is, why would they steal your weapon? How would they know it was in there? Did you plan for them to come in there and steal it? Did you leave it in there for them? Was it in a crime and you have to get it off of you? It's hot. So you got to say it was stolen. So if something come up on it, you can say that they did it while they had it. But ask yourself this question. 
if they trace that weapon back to her in any type of form, is it going to be something that happened before it even came up missing? Which make you know that this weapon was done something with it. Y'all, I'm just saying. Before they even stole it, y'all. See, they doing stuff, but they not really paying attention. They call themselves covering up things, but at the same time, they call themselves covering it up stuff. It's making them look more suspicious. I'm just saying, y'all. It's making them look really suspicious. This is the same woman that's best friends with the judge. This lady right here is a judge, y'all. And the same woman that's a judge, she's very, very close to Black Youngster. She calls Black Youngster her baby. She calls him her baby. This is Black Youngster hanging out with all of these people that's in hot places, y'all. Even the DA is best friends with this judge. And she's close to Black Youngster now? They had the nerves to claim that Black Youngster was having meetings with this judge and stuff like that. And all of these people right here. So that they can put their heads together and figure out how to get the crime to go down. Never mind, he the one that's running around doing the damn crime, y'all. Y'all make it make sense. A lot of stuff that's going on right now, it don't make no sense. And y'all let me know, please, y'all, please let me know. What happened in the back of the repass? Because I've been trying to find any type of videos or information about what took place in the back of that, um, that repass. And I can't find a thing, y'all. I kid you not. Gotti Hall tell after that funeral was over with. As if he knew something was about to go down. And to be honest with you, I think he used Angela Simmons so that he could hurry up and bounce right back up out of there. Oh, I got Angela with me. We got th stuff to do. We got to get up out of here. If he already knew that his brother had got shot at a week before, why did he even bring Angela to the funeral in the first place if it was hot? That just goes to show you He's using her. He's using her. Angela don't know these people. He didn't have to. She didn't have to come. If you on your thug thizzle, why in the world wouldn't you go to the funeral by yourself? Why would you bring Angela with you? Ask yourself this question. If you knew it was already hot and your brother had just got shot up. And then one of your security guards, well, however way he went out. Because they're saying that. He got shot up, and then some people were saying he had a blood clot. Make you think about somebody else, don't it, y'all? What was his name? The comedian in Mo3 case? He got shot up, remember, y'all? And then he passed away a day, or a couple of days later from a blood clot? Is it the same situation, y'all? Did he get hit up in that Tesla? Did he go to the hospital? Did he survive it and come out a day or two and then pass away from the blood clot? Because this is what the family is saying. It makes you wonder. That's what happened to Roy Lee. Remember Roy Lee? If y'all don't know who Roy Lee is, go pull it up, y'all. Same thing that happened with Mo3 stuff. Roy Lee got shot in the leg or something like that. After he gets hit up in the leg, he comes home in a day or so he passes away. Is this how Boleg went out? It's weird, ain't it, y'all, that the, the cases sound so similarly eerie, don't it, y'all? Boleg, Roy Lee get hit in the leg, and then he turn around and pass away from a blood clot, and then Boleg, his family, he passed away from a blood clot. And then everybody is saying that he got hit up. Makes you wonder, don't it, y'all? What's really going on out here with this whole situation? Because it seems like everybody's lying right now. And everybody's playing damage control. Let's fix it. And another thing that trips me out, too, is that the little Kevin Hart security guy, y'all. Okay? What they call him, Petey? 
something like that. A little man. He goes and erases his social media stuff. Now, first of all, you just fall for your life. Word on the street, he is paralyzed. I don't know how true it is, but they say he's paralyzed. Okay, y'all? You would think that he'll be happy to just be alive right now. But he's erasing his social media accounts, his posts. You didn't erase the whole social media account, but you erased all of your posts. Why would you erase your posts? And this goes to show you that Pre ain't had nothing to do with this as well. Because if Pre Nim had something to do with this, he wouldn't erase his post. But somebody close had something to do with this. This was an inner something going on with them, their selves. The inner circle of CMG. And this is why he wouldn't erase them posts. Because the police was probably looking through them posts was going to be like, wait a minute, why did you say this? Why did you say, you know, people keep coming after? Wait, let's go back to his post, y'all. Because if it's more than what he said right here, why did you erase all of your posts? The police went and asked him questions and he wouldn't cooperate. He said he didn't know nothing, didn't see nothing, no nothing, nothing, nothing. But people have went to them posts and started posting them on social media, y'all. <laughs> okay? You could be man of your business, stand out the way, and still seem to get bit by a snake. Really? Bad things happen to good people. As long as you don't go out sad. Talking about snakes again. You think that he got more to hide than meets the eye because you wouldn't erase every last one of your posts? It says zero posts on his thing. His social media now. He erased it, y'all. Ring a bell? Day ones, twos, and threes. Remember when Mo3 was taken out, how everybody was erased and posts left and right? I was in overdrive trying to save that stuff because they was erasing it so fast. Everybody was trying to erase stuff. Because they didn't want the police to find out that they played a part. But word on the street, they could pull this stuff back up if they want to. Why would he go and erase these posts? Unless that he was covering up for somebody on the inside that was trying to snake them. Which takes me back to the same thing I was telling y'all about. The week prior that they say that Big Juke got hit at. Did somebody try to take his life when he was in a car with Bowleg? And did Bowleg was the only one that got hit? And if he was, did he call somebody to come and get him? Or was he, did he just jump out the car and get into that car that was following him? Because that was their boys in the first place. There was a people in that white SUV floor, um, ex Ford Explorer. Did he do the job himself to try to take out Bowleg? Or did somebody come at him and Bowleg when they were in the Tesla? Because word on the street, this is what I'm hearing. Him and Bowleg was in the Tesla, y'all. I got to pull up a Tesla, y'all, because Bowleg is huge and he's huge. And I just don't see both of them getting in there in the first place. But it's weird because do y'all see that Obama had put them Teslas? This a little car, y'all. This car ain't that big for them two big guys to get in there. Unless and they come in different sizes. How in the heck did Bowleg and... Big old jug fit in this little Tesla car. Because word on the street, this is what they're saying. that He was in the Tesla too. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. About this whole situation. Why do y'all think little man when not erased his post? Is it because he didn't want anything to come back to their own inner circle that was beefing with each other? And if Pre would have did it, why would he have to go and erase his post? He don't deal with Pre like that, do he? So why would he have to erase his post 
if pre did it y'all ask yourself this question y'all it's a lot of stuff coming out now another thing that came out that i was listening to on onan's um little recordings from the police is um that the incident that happened on the fifth they it had license plates on there y'all it had license plates on the on there and they gave the tag numbers and everything on there, y'all. So, if they did use that same car to go do whatever they did to Big Jug, y'all, which seemed like the snake snaking the snakes, because it's a possibility that Big Jug snaked that other security car, and then they turned around his people and snaked him. Is that why it says snakes, snaking the snakes? They're all turning on each other. Now CMG members want out of their contracts. Something is weird about this whole situation. And why do the stories keep changing? Y'all, it's some weird stuff going on. Seriously. It is some seriously weird situations going on with this whole thing. Plates on one scene, no plates on the next scene, okay? And how the heck did these two huge guys get into this little car? And did he hit up his own security? And did he pass away from a blood clot because he just didn't pass away right away? I'm just saying, y'all, there's some weird stuff going on, y'all. It is some truly weird stuff going on. If your if your guy knew that it was already hot and his brother them had gotten to some shitaka, why did he bring Angela? If you love Angela so much, why would you bring her there when you know that the shitaka didn't hit the fan? Why? Because that proves you're using her, y'all. And word on the street is her family is trying to get her to leave him alone. She just not listening, y'all. And y'all, I, I, I'm i going to do some numbers on that, too. Because it's some weird stuff coming up about an orphan. Like, her child is going to be an orphan. He already lost his father. So, is he about to lose his mama, too, y'all? It's some weird stuff that's coming up on that. So, we're going to do some numbers on that. And they can't stand when I do numbers, but who cares, okay? They'll get over it, all right? We're going to do some numbers on that. Um, we're going to do some numbers on, you know, the son's name, all of that stuff. Um, what else did I have to tell y'all about? It was something else. I'm trying to think of it. Um, hmm. Daddy-O name coming up. I mean, Daddy Oreo. I call him Daddy Oreo because I remember when I did a video on him before that it was some, you know, back door and going on and some, you know, playing both sad stuff. Um. He was trying to, you know, come at me. So I, I don't even say his name anymore. I just say Daddy Oreo. But his name is popping up, y'all. They're saying that, you know, people are trying to put the blame on him. Now, like I said, they could be trying to get the blame off of Yo Gotti, which where it really looks like it came from in the first place. Him and his crooked, you know, paid off, you know, police officers that's crooked at the police station. Not all of them, but the ones that they didn't, you know, they got on their payroll. That's what it looks like to me that took place with all of this mess, okay? Um, DJ Dave, uh, CJ, whatever her name, Davis, she's fighting for her job, y'all. She is fighting for that job. And they're saying that this new mayor, Sambo, is coming in or something. He's supposed to be, and they say he's supposed to be the great white, and they call him the black hope. Um, y'all, it made me think about that that uh, white line slave ship coming in, okay, y'all? Um... I don't know why I keep thinking about that every time I think about this guy that's supposed to be the new mayor, I guess, for, you know, y'all. It's a lot going on. And I'm going to tell y'all this. Be careful listening to some of these bloggers. Um, when we when we had um, doing the Mo3 case, it was a lot of bloggers that was steering a narrative that was from Dallas. And they were paid off to steer the narratives. So don't believe, don't think that a, a, you know, Mrs. Blogger won't try to steer the narrative just to get to the, you know, the spotlight off of your Gotti. 
yes, they're going to run and tell. And, and I'm going to tell you this. You know, people send other people stuff so they could try to mess up their head and their, their and make them send out a certain message. I'm noticing people is putting out that old key Glock and, you know, Daddy Oreo is the one that's behind it. Be careful people sending you stuff because they will send you off. And I'm just saying, this how it be. This is why I told y'all about, you know, um, Orange Mount. I was like, I got my other information from an accurate, you know, in, per, you know, a person that I thought that is legit. Okay, the other stuff that I told y'all. But I told y'all, you know, be weary of the other information that I had got as far as, you know, um, Orange Mount Quinn getting broke off. I've still been waiting to see if anybody's going to say anything about it, but people have been on the hush-hush about that as well. So I told y'all that might, I'm just saying, take it with a grain of salt, that one, okay? Um, some people are saying that, you know, st still people reached out to me and said it did happen. So is Orange Mount quit had now? I don't know. He could be had now after that broke-off session. Um, people probably just don't want it to come back to them that they broke off their own boy because they're saying that it came from his own inner circle. Y'all, which makes sense too. Okay, y'all? Because he's the one that's running around telling on everybody, okay? <laughs> a word on the street. So it would make sense for his own guys to rough him up some. Okay, I'm just saying, y'all. It would make sense. So just, you know, if y'all found out anything about what was going on in the back of the place, when I think about that, I just see somebody going after somebody that's in the back security, go after the security in the back of the repast. And then we're going to, you know, line him up when he coming out the door, get him. And then people is telling me, too, that the story keeps changing around about if the mama was in the car or if the mama was with him or she was coming out the door with him and she ran back in and this and that and that and this. It still don't make sense that nobody called the police. Nobody called the police. The mama didn't call the police. I got people coming in my comment section. How you know they didn't call the police? Um, The police calls. People got the recordings of the police calls coming in around that time. There were no calls. And the only call that came in was from another police asking that they hear any gunshots. That they hear any kind of thing go, you know, happen. And a police called it in. Not all of those people that was in there, nobody else called it in. As if everybody was in on it. Y'all, it's weird. Nobody picked up the phone to call the police out of all of those different ages and people that was in that place. Something is off about that, y'all. Something is off about how they got in up close and personal to him to take him out like that. And only you got to nobody, nobody, y'all, pulled, pulled up their phone to show him driving out of the lot, nothing. We got a picture of when he's on the street. And it looked like it's coming from another car that was following him. Like, is those pictures even real? Like, somebody told me the picture is altered. One of the pictures is altered. I don't know which one. But somebody is telling me this. I don't know. They could be trying to send me off, too. So that's why I, I take stuff with a grain of salt, but I still mention it to y'all. But it's some weird stuff that's going that's taking place right now, y'all. Phone, phone messages... Is why would they check Big Juke's phone records? They have his phone records posted. The police station. They have his phone records posted from the fifth. So we know something went down on the fifth. We just don't know what. And they're saying that Big Juke was a part of whatever that went down on the fifth. Why they hadn't it so much? Unless he was in a room. So it's some serious stuff going on with this police station. It seemed like a serious cover-up. And I'm going to tell y'all this. Once you cover up one thing, you got to keep on trying to cover and cover and cover until you are, your cover is blown from you trying to cover up somebody else's dirt. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section. And we're going to do some numbers when I um, come back to this again. I was going to do it now, but I'm tired. Okay, y'all? I mean... <laughs> It's been like an hour, I think, going over this stuff. But y'all let me know in the comment section what y'all think about this whole situation and what was going down in the back of where the repast was happening at. Who got hit up back there? Did somebody get taken out in the back of the place too? Was it security in the back? Secure in the back? 
And if somebody went after somebody in the back and then they had him coming out on the front and they had somebody on him in the front, this was a complete setup, y'all. And is there any cameras on the front and back of this place? Why ain't they releasing any kind of footage for somebody can see, well, this look like the guy that was, you know, blah, blah, blah. We're not getting none of that. Why would you have a repass somewhere where there's no cameras at? Because if, if it was cameras, you would think that they would have showed us some of that. They ain't showing us none of that, just like they didn't want to show us the cameras when Dolph got taken out either. Which makes it seem as if it is pointing all the fingers at CMG and some of these crooked cops. But anyway, y'all, let me know what y'all think in the comments section. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks for watching. Peace.